Yo, 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 guys, United Goes is here, who I'm here with. Sven Rippmann. And what did you play and how did you play? I played Memento, if you want, so Fiendsmith, but it's just one Fiendsmith card. One Fiendsmith card, okay. Yeah, so, one so card. And, and you got what? We ended up top, top, 33, top 32. Yo, nice, nice, nice. Why are you so sad, bro? Ah, I lost some time against Dogwood. Happens, happens. Just a classic, the classic top 32 match. All right. The ritual piece, okay, yeah. start with the deck list. Uh, okay, so with the main deck, I played three hand traps. All right. Just the four ballers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right. Uh, four ballers, every time I resolve it, I win. Probably it's kind of that because otherwise the end board is way too weak. And um, if he plays into it, you will draw into all your breakers. So, Fulos was 100% the right choice to play. Right. I had like nine Viking Snake Eye decks, uh, one Tillement, two Tempai, and one Ritual Beast in the end. Ah, all right. So, all right. it was every time a yeah. good choice because I just had two Tempais, right. obviously. Okay, then, wait. Of course, the big boy, the boss monster of the deck. The ratios are three Dark Blades. Free language. Yes. All those are one card starter. You need to mix it out. Free horses. Also one card starter. Also one card starter. Kind of a one card starter. <laughs> the best extender of the game. Your fusion. The Horn Dragon for the pops. I saw this. We, we does not run this one, but it's that's completely bullshit. All right. Sometimes this one gets flumberged by the opponent because they are kind of stupid. And then you just resolve this one, pop him and pop two face-up cards uh, of your opponent. <laughs> and another thing is, if they flumberg your big boy, you can just use Memento Fusion, pop it and search it. It's so many weird situations happened this weekend because the, my opponents didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> so. <laughs> crazy, bro. Yeah. So, next card, Akihorn. Oh, crazy. This lets you uh, F OTK your opponent because the big boys can attack directly. Yes. And other than that, all of your opponents forget about this effect. So you win either way. And the last card of the monsters is the one engraver. One engraver. So, would you change any ratios or are you. Uh, the ratios are completely fine. Completely fine. fine? All right. Uh, also, the footballers are obviously fine. No lacrima? Nah, you don't need it. You don't want to break. Play more bricks. I, I draw every time, every starting hand is this fucking engraver. Okay, alright. Really, every starting hand, every, every hand. It's completely disgusting. But other than that, it's. You need to one, play at uh, least one, otherwise, you cannot play your Diabelts combos and you cannot go into your Caesar place. Yes. So, quite good. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So, this is for the monsters. So, is there any non engine you missed or. Not for the monsters. Alright. So, we did. Outmax the Bomb Party, of course. Yeah. Outmax the Memento Fusion. Yes. Outmax the, the Goblin Biker Spell. So, you have nine ways to dodge impermanence? Um, I would say even 12. 12? Alright, yeah. oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> I see. So if you want, so it's fifteen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So did you did you yeah. get got impermed this yeah. weekend? Yeah, yeah, multiple times. All right. All of the guys, uh, you you normal anguish, they imperm, you dodge it, and you, uh, <laughs> you go into the next game. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's completely stupid. But um, other than that, yeah, you need to mix this out. It's just not not only engine. You dodge stuff, you break stuff, you dribble around everything. It's, it's completely disgusting. And that's why you don't need those hand traps. You just need one normal summon, you dodge um, the first negate with one of the quick spells. And other than that, you just dribble around it and OTK him somehow. It's ah. obviously a complex deck, yes. But in the end, if you're familiar with the combo lines, then you can just... Out every impulse. Yeah. How many imperms did you dodge this weekend? 20. 20? Oh <laughs> shit. Alright, alright. But what's more interesting is um, at least seven full Fire King Snake Eye combos are broke with my main deck. Crazy. I mean, you just need four, just need, uh, yeah, you need four engine cards and one of the 
baby breakers, I would say. It just have, it, it don't need to be super poly every time. It can be a droplet, um, it can be obviously the Fovados or after sight and Slayer or stuff like that. If you see one of those cars, you break the whole board. Crazy. 100%. If you do it right, you break it. So, could you imagine a uh, time where you play this going second? On purpose, second? Yes. Nah, you don't need it. I mean, going first is, is, is just a good. If you go first, then you combo through every entrance and uh, then you FTK. So, why would you run it um, yes. on purpose going second? So last cards are uh, one prosperity instead of the reinforcement of the army yes. because it's just the better cards and in the end you want to dig after siding for some cards. Field spell if crazy and mandatory. Not mandatory but still crazy. One for one and call by grave. Yes. Call by grave to have at least one out for the shifter. And one for one is an extender which I never activated in 50 matches. That is Crazy. Don't ask me why. That's crazy. It, it, was, it never came up. I just don't draw it. And if I see it, I don't need it. So, I see you don't play any talents or thrust. Yeah. I don't so, need it. I mean, it's, it's enough. It's enough. You want to see it. one of those, or one of those, or one of the Fubalos. This is the main. And if you don't see what, if you don't see any one of those nine cards, then you probably have full engine head. They can dribble all the other um, on boards. So, yeah. So nice. The last card is the trap. We had many thoughts about that. I'm not quite sure if you need to play that, but... It's like a Palooza. Yeah, it's like a Palooza, but in the end, if you go full combo, then you win either way. Yeah, okay. Alright. Of course, it felt nice to have it, but uh, on the other hand, you don't need it. So, okay. That's for me. Alright. Then we go to the next, this extra deck. Mandatory ratio yes. to one. Nothing special about that. This is for the Diabills combo. Yes. I'll get on it at the uh, side deck. Guarding Camera. Guarding Camera yes. is for some strange spell trap matchups when you go uh, end of main, uh, Guarding Camera, pop, pop more of those uh, macros. Never special that. Yes. This is for Ultimate Slayer and the bots. Yeah. Super poly, super yes. poly, super poly. Yeah. Didn't play any Centurion, sadly. This is for the Field Smiths. Yes. So you lose against the barrier? No. Not really? I, I got the barrier in top 64 in a jazz game. Uh, did a little bit of combo. Um, you, you, you mill the, uh, the big boy, the 5k beater. And then you can uh, just go bone party or stuff like that, and it's okay on, on everything. It's just not that that hard. Right. Barrier. I mean, uh, it, it's it's absolutely kept to say that barrier bit uh, the barrier doesn't affect you. It obviously is good, but it's not uh, like tempi or stuff like that. You just uh, scoops. You play and play and play and play and play and, play and see what happens afterwards. The last cards is the SP. You need it for the Diabells combo and sometimes it comes up. Is there a card you missed? Mm, good question. Cross sheep or dark? Uh, cross sheep is just absolutely cat. <laughs> this cat is... Maybe Desiree? 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 Uh, I miss sometimes Aerial Eater because as a super pony target. Alright. Because all right. you can use two fields. Alright. Maybe this could be Aerial Eater. Yep, that's it for that. So lastly, lastly, Richard Taylor. Yeah, how to shoot? You run multiple dimension shifter hate cards, like this one. But the heat wave really performed. It really performed because the the main idea is you have heat wave uh, together with uh, bone party. And then you draw face, you activate bone party, you pop, you special, search sleepy, do stuff in your draw face. Then you go into the main phase, activate the heat wave, and you have full follow up and half of your combo resolved. Um, it's it's just an FTK. That's I did I did it crazy, like yeah. Yeah, I did like three four times, and this was just a, a free game. Also in top 64, I did it in game two. This is completely disgusting. And other than that, yeah, you can always heat wave him and set one monster. 
Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, yeah, this deck is um, it's designed to uh, run this going first instead of the Fovalos. Okay, it's okay. absolutely the right call. Uh, with Heatwave, how many people expected this card? Or was no. it like always a surprise? No one it was always a surprise. No one expected it. But but I'm, 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 it, it doesn't change anything. It, even if they expect it, what, what should they do? Should they just uh, Zeta you? Okay. <laughs> Zeta? Yeah, yeah so, Zeta, yeah. Uh, orange and uh, what's the, the green light? Green, the green light, light, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, then, yeah. It there's nothing results. you can do, yeah. You activate this to set a monster and you go into the next game. Yeah, that's it. And, uh, that, but the other reason is uh, if they shift the you in their turn, you can hit with them. Or if they shift the you in your draw phase, you can hit with them at yeah. a temporary matchup, obviously. Yeah. So that's Heat Wave, then Free Slayer. I always bought the Free Slayer for uh, Trap, one for one, and one Goblin spell. Going second, that's the only card uh, side for the Snake Eye Viking deck. Matchup, then you have three super potent free slayer, free droplets, and three fubalos. Good matchup, absolutely amazing. Yeah, good matchup. So, then going first, free raw, one barrier, two frost for the temper matchup and shifter matchups in general. This should be two more barriers more because barriers. It, okay. it can be um, ashed, ashed and stuff. Yeah, and okay. sometimes you lose because of that situation. Okay, okay. So last cards, the belts, if you go first, you sign it every time. Um, they can't evenly you, they can't imperm you, they can't super poly you. Absolute crazy cards. It's like almost an FTK against Tenpai, yeah. no? It's like against so many things. So many things. Uh, okay. If you have this with a little bit um, uh, back row, a little bit uh, back up for her, that's crazy. Yeah. I, I never lost when I resolved this. But it resolves at the ultimate end of your combo, so you would have won anyway yeah, most of the cases. More, yeah. But I mean, it, it dodges the problematic cards like Super Poly, Evilly, etc. Et okay. So, obviously, mandatory. Last two cards, I won Slayer target for the Centurion matchup. I never played Centurion against Centurion, <laughs> so didn't kill him. And this one, my time card, <laughs> Granosaurus oh, Giga oh. Cannon. Go what does it do now? Buy it on cardmarket.com. <laughs> um, it's a... Uh, I had thought about Gaga Gaga Cowboy, I had thoughts about Agave Dragon, and yeah. all of those cards can be dodged, but this one cannot be dodged. Like, what does he do though? Yeah, it says if it gets destroyed, your opponent gets 1000 damage. Ah, okay, Absolutely. okay, and you destroy him. It's just yeah, okay. plus zero card. <laughs> but in the end, um, he cannot dodge it. You just build it with two Dark Blades, level 4, two Memento Fusion, Pop it, he gets 1000 yeah, damage, okay. and you can, can still combo afterwards. Exactly, yeah. So if you have uh, like uh, 10 minutes on the clock and you do this in the middle of your combo, Memento Fusion he gets 1000 damage, you do more combo, 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 and in his turn, you have to break everything and deal damage. Yeah, that's crazy. He okay. won't do that, I promise you, he won't do that. It was good, won like two games or three games, so that's probably enough for a time card. Um, and in return, I got dog watered in top 32, <laughs> so I guess okay, that's karma. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. That's so it. that's the list. How many cards? 40 cards. Flat. 40 cards main deck? Okay. Yeah. Full consistency. That's how it's done, yeah? Read like two times. Oh, okay, okay. Fine. Okay. Yeah. But other than that, it was super consistent, okay. super good. You can dribble so many situations. I'm pretty sure it was 100% the right choice to play it. Players, and yeah. if I wouldn't get dog watered, maybe we could okay, okay. done more. So yeah. thank you, Sven. And do you have any more shoutouts? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to United Golders. Shout out to John Tari. Tari, yeah. <laughs> because he, he forced me to do it. He forced me to do it, okay, okay. Shout out to Lorenzo Roma. My roommate. <laughs> Any emotion from you? Any emotions? Okay. No emotions. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Done. Peace out. Okay, see you again.